Meanwhile, a landmark agreement announced today stemming from the controversy over how the NYPD handled some of the George Floyd protests back in 2020. Several lawsuits were filed when some protesters were corralled and arrested in what is called kettling. It's considered a controversial police tactic. Well, today the NYPD agreed to changes on the amount of force and the tactics it uses in similar situations. It is to protect the rights of people who protest peacefully. Here's Iowa News reporter NJ Burkett. It was May of 2020. Thousands of demonstrators poured into the streets of New York, outraged over the death of George Floyd and the decades of racial injustice that came before. The protests were often tense, but not violent. But there were times when some marchers split into groups and rampaged through the streets, and the NYPD seemed overwhelmed. When these officers were surrounded, they tried to plow through the crowd. Another officer was seen on video shoving a young woman to the pavement. Another drew his gun. Hundreds were arrested, some of them manhandled by police officers in riot gear. Several reporters said they were held back. In some cases, demonstrators were cut off and swept off the streets in indiscriminate mass arrests known as kettling. A landmark legal settlement with civil liberties organizations and the state attorney general is intended to ensure that it doesn't happen again. This is really an enormous victory for New Yorkers because it represents a, a, a real change in the NYPD's approach to policing protests. The department has agreed to appoint a senior chief to oversee all demonstration responses, which must be four-tiered and proportionate. Kettling is prohibited, and an oversight committee will review all police protest responses. But critics tonight say the settlement goes too far, that protests can become violent rapidly. And you can't do that. You can't let a crime occur first and then you move in. You have to deploy your resources before that happens. The individuals and groups responsible for the 2020 violence and destructions of the PBA president will surely view this agreement as a green light to create more of the same. End quote. Civil liberties experts disagree. Uh, in the past, the NYPD's approach has really been to send as many police officers as they possibly could. And what we saw in the summer of 2020 is that that approach escalated violence. It escalated tensions. Under the settlement, thousands of police officers will need to be retrained and police commanders will need to revise their tactics. 